But of course, tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man, I'm here to help you guys become like the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. You know, if you've been playing Fortnite for some time now, you've likely been tricked by your opponent more than once, right? You know, trick plays are so great because no matter your skill level, you can still make your opponent look absolutely clueless. Today, we're going to be showing you guys some awesome trick plays that you do not want to miss that you can definitely add to your play style. But before we get started, you already know what time it is, man. It's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crumbs. And before we start, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get this going. All right, so the first trick play on our list has been in the game for like a long time now. But just because it's old does not mean it's not useful, right? You know, the ramp phase is a trick that we first saw Benji Fishy popularize all the way back in Chapter 1 World Cup Qualifier. When done correctly, the player performing this play is going to be phased inside the ramp, making the build yellow. This will make it very difficult for their opponent to see them, giving them the upper hand to deal some major damage. All right, guys, so check this out. To do this move, stand all the way in the back of your box with your back against the the wall right simply look down and just place a ramp at your feet since you're in this awkward position the ramp is forced to go into a state of phase basically meaning that you can shoot edit or build anything through the ramp and so the best time to bust out this move is when an opponent is pushing your box while you sit there holding your wall you can just quickly place the phase ramp and just edit the wall they're attacking and hit a heavy shotgun shot before they even have time to realize what the heck just happened to them okay so another situation where this play shines is when you're fully boxed by your opponent with the ramp over your head or right, just like before, just stand with your back against the wall and either spray or pickaxe the ramp to reclaim it. It might take a couple of tries depending on your ping, but since you're in this position, the ramp that you place will be phased. If you're able to hit your initial shotgun shot, you're almost guaranteed to win the gunfight as long as you hit your follow-up SMG or AR shot. This play works so well in this situation since it's impossible for the opponent to replace the phase ramp, and by the time they realize what's happening, it's gonna be too late for them to really even trade shots with you. You know, these aren't the only scenarios you could do this plan, so get creative and just see what really works for you, all right? You know, it should also be known that you can do this exact same move with a cone as well. But uh, the ramp is gonna do a better job at just hiding you from your opponent. So we definitely recommend just sticking with the ramp. All right, if you're wondering what some of our other recommendations might be, all right, you gotta head on over to ProGuys.com where our incredible coaches are ready and waiting to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Training with them is like the best and fastest way to improve. And all you need to do to get started is click the link in the description. All right, so the next trick is something that we fail to see players even taking advantage of. This play has only been around for a few seasons, so if you master it now, you're gonna be ahead of the meta. You know, we first saw this play being used by Norway Lee. You know, Noah is a European pro player known for his cheeky exploits and predictive play style. You know, this play allows you to place a cone inside your opponent's box without breaking any of their builds. You know, since peace control is like arguably like the biggest skill gap in the game, being able to claim a build inside your opponent's box before initiating the fight is huge. All right, before learning this trick, you must know that this is going to only work if your opponent is not boxed on flat ground. You know, the reason for this is we're going to be taking advantage of the Fortnite grid system and the unique reach of cones to make this possible. Although this trick will only work in certain situations, the time it does work makes this play worth mastering for sure. If you find your opponent in an elevated box with missing walls directly below them, you're good to go. Approach the corner of their box that has a wall missing one layer down. Stand on either a floor or a cone with the wall on your right and left to just block any shot attempts from your opponent. All right, so edit a bottom four tile edit on whichever wall has the missing pieces closest to it. If you're on keyboard and mouse, pull out your cone blueprint and position your crosshair just a smidge below the opponent's floor on the left center side. And so once you find the sweet spot, you're gonna see your cone move into your opponent's box, place it down and you're done. For you controller players out there, with the instant build setting enabled, this is gonna work slightly differently. So since you're unable to see where your cone is gonna be going before placing it, just go ahead and just place a cone on the tile directly next to you. Right Right above where the missing wall piece is. With your cone bind still activated, edit the corner tile of that cone that's closest to you and connect it to the enemy floor. This is gonna create a small opening where you're gonna just, you know, turbo hold your cone bind as you look down slowly into the sweet spot we just showed you. This is gonna get the same job done as you would on keyboard. You know, you just have to add that one extra step. All right, speaking of Norelli, like this next trick was created by him as well, hence the name, Norelli Classic. Now, this trick is definitely like the most advanced on today's list, but don't get me wrong, man, with enough practice, you guys can make this work, but you gotta believe in yourself, all right? Because I believe in you. This trick has multiple steps and requires your prediction game to be like on point. Okay, so the play starts with a ramp being phased into the opponent's box, followed by either full piecing them on the tile directly to the left, right, or below the box the opponent's in. The last step is where the prediction aspect really comes 
move in. Based on the initial direction you see the opponent moving after you phase the ramp in, is which tile you want to predictively like full piece. Guys, I know this all sounds like overwhelming right now, but don't worry, we're gonna break it down for you. You know, we've actually covered this first step of phasing your ramp in the opponent's box in some previous videos, but for those of you who missed that, all right, let me explain it briefly. To phase a ramp in an opponent's box, start by placing a cone at feet level directly in front of the wall. Next, pull your ramp piece out and just look towards the bottom left hand corner of the wall, all while holding your turbo build and just crouching up and down quickly. Just like the cone face trick that we just covered, you're gonna have to find that perfect sweet spot in order for the ramp to place a tile ahead. This all comes down to practicing and just getting a feel for it, so don't be discouraged if you don't get it right off the bat, okay? Take your time, you got it. All right, so now that ramp is phased in, your enemy is like likely to panic and attempt to rebox themselves. You know, more inexperienced players will typically attempt to just rebox their right or left, while advanced players will usually just rebox a layer down. But if you're on ground level, that only leaves two options, right? Since the whole idea here, and I mean like right here, is to be predictive, you're gonna be able to claim the wall and just full, you know, box the tile they're moving to before they can, leaving them in a horrible position that you can take advantage of. If you're struggling with peace control, check out our peace control tutorials on Pro Guy's YouTube channel. All right, like I said before, man, this trick can be very challenging to get the hang of, but the more times you guys try this on opponent, I'm telling you right now, the better that you're gonna get at predicting enemy movement and being successful with this play. All right. All right. So the next trick play on our list has been covered in some of our previous videos, but it's just, you know, so good that we got included once again. The play was popularized by FaZe Martos. All right. And uh, it just gives you the chance to really turn around a fight in a matter of seconds. You know, we all know that you want to box yourself up when you take a lot of damage in order to heal. But for this trick, guys, you're going to just want to heal outside your box. I know that may sound kind of crazy, but hear me out. All right. Once you take damage and create a box to heal, your opponent won't think twice before dropping to the side of the box to apply pressure but since in this play you're outside the box as soon as they approach the wall you're gonna be able to deal some devastating damage all right so to do this play create a full box around you with the ramp below your feet but instead of placing the final wall behind you and healing just take a few steps back and then place that final wall this will leave you in a hidden position right behind your full box where you can either heal or have your shotgun out and just you know just ready depending on how far away your opponent is your opponent will automatically assume that you're in the box you built but little do they know you're actually hidden behind the box ready to catch them off guard all right so while this play can really be great for just turning around a fight you need to be aware of your surroundings right like if you're fighting in a highly congested area or middle zone chances are that you're gonna get third party sprayed by another player and so you know with how strong the mk7 is in chapter three one third party spray could send you right back to the lobby but you're gonna show me where you watch your motivation, guys. Back, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share it with everybody. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, feel free to let us know in the comment section if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, guys, being a successful Fortnite player, you know, it isn't all about aim and mechanics. You know, being able to outsmart your opponents and use your knowledge of the game's many possibilities to your advantage, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna win you more fights than you can ever imagine. Hey, connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Believe in you guys, keep going. Peace.